Hello and welcome to your video tour of the 2016 Subaru LeVorg GTS, a Pacific Toyota Cans. Before we enter the tour of the car, we'll just have a quick look around the yard. So this is one of two used Toyota yards here in Cairns. This one's just down the road from the DFO at 235 Mulgrave Road, and then the other's um, at 77 Mulgrave Road. Just there we've got our showroom where we photograph the cars, and then just having a look around the rest of the yard now. Rain's starting to pull, um, come down a little bit, so we'll get this video done as soon as we can, but um, just across the road there we got our new cars, Toyota and Lexus, and just behind that we have our services, parts and accessories. We sell about 200 cars a month, and of those 200 cars, 80 do go down south, so it's definitely something we can accommodate for you. But getting into the tool, we'll start at the front here, have a look at that front windscreen, Given that car a wipe down, but as you can see, the rain starting to come down again. But no scratches or cracks or chips in that front windscreen, which is great to see. And then we'll just have a look over the hood as well, checking for any damages there. No dents or dings or anything on the hood there. We'll point out any damages we do see, so you know exactly what you're getting. Got two little stone chips just there at the front. another couple on this side here we can give this paint a brush touch for you as well but still just want to point out everything in the video so you know exactly what you're getting have a look at that driver's side now nice and straight there no dents or dings in that driver's side and have a look at that front wheel great condition there a few little scratches along that rim but nothing major have a look at that tyre for you. Still got plenty of tread on that tyre. Come around that front bumper. Looking for any damage as we can see there. Car's in really good condition as you can see. And have a look at that passenger side too. Again making sure everything's nice and straight on that side as well. And have a look at that front wheel on the passenger side. No scratches on that rim. And you still got plenty of tread on that tire as well. We'll have a look over the paint now on the passenger side, checking for any damages. Have a look at this back wheel too on the passenger side. Again, rims in great condition there. And still got plenty of tread on that tire as well. Have a look at this side mirror here, as well as having your blind spot sensor just there. You've also got your blind spot camera as well. So you have a good idea of what's um in that blind spot before you do change lanes. And then we'll have a look at that roof as well. You got those roof racks there, which will be included, um, as well as your sunroof. Sunroof's all in good condition there. Paint on top's all looking good as well. And then just have a look in the front here. Inside of that passenger door is in great condition. No scratches or marks. Got that nice blue stitching through the car as well. Again, you can see that blue stitching on that um, those front leather seats there. Really comfortable seats here. Great support, hold you really well. Especially around those tight turns and stuff. Dash is in great condition there, no scratches or marks. And that floor mat looking really nice and tidy as well. No damages underneath. Got automatic windows throughout the car as well. We'll open up the back and have a look in the back now. Again, no scratches or marks on the inside of that back door. And you've got that nice blue stitching through the back as well. No scratches or marks on those um, back seats. Nice leather there. Pull down that center armrest. Just make sure there's no hidden damages in there. Nice and tidy through there as well. Got your floor mats in the back. 
No damages underneath these floor mats either. Leather on the back of those front seats is looking really good as well. You've also got your two USB outlets there for the back. Come around the back now, have a look at that back windscreen again. No scratches, cracks or chips in that back windscreen. And the paint at the, at the back's looking really good as well. Got your protector just there. Often you do get marks from people loading up the boot. So that avoids that for you, keeps it in good condition. Got your reverse camera there too. As you can see, all wheel drive as with all Subarus. Got your boot protector there. This car is a 2016, but as you can see, this car has been really well looked after and is still in great condition. Almost can't tell it's a 2016 to be honest. Have a look underneath though, carpet underneath in great condition there too. And you can fold down these back seats with just a flick of the switch from the boot. That all folds down nicely, gives you heaps of room in the back here. As you can see there, this can be easily taken out as well if you wish. Now coming back around to that driver's side, we'll have a look at that last wheel for you. Again, no scratches on the rim there. And still got plenty of tread on the tire as well. Just have a look at the paint now. A little bit of a mark just there. Again, we can look at getting this one brush touched for you. But still just want to point it out for you. Having a look over the paint there. We'll have a look at the inside of this um, inside of the back on the driver's side as well again nice blue stitching on the inside of that door no scratches or marks there and having a look underneath those nice floor mats carpet underneath in great condition as well one thing i want to point out with these subarus you've got those nice big bolts under there this car is an extremely safe car got your all-wheel drive um, structure of the car is held quite well as well um, in case of an accident, hopefully there never is one though, but probably one of the safest cars out there that you'll find the Subarus. Having a look at the inside of that driver's door, great condition there as well. No scratches or marks on the inside of that driver's door. We'll hop in and start it up for you now. your electronic um, seat adjustments on the Subaru. So you got two keys with this car, roof rack keys as well. Those roof racks can be removed if you wish. Push button start here on the right there. Put on the brake. Then just have a look at that there. No warning lights popping up, which is good. And you can see your exact kilometers today 75,118 kilometers extremely low for a 2016 and as you can see by the condition of this car really well looked after as well so we'll go over everything now start at the right go your window controls just there again automatic windows as well as your central locking just above that you have your side mirror controls which can be brought in and out if you wish to get in and out of those tight spaces. Really ahead of its time for a 2016 car as you can see. Uh, I've got your blind spot sensor switch just there. Then you've got your traction control, your dash light, uh, um, push button start. And then you get two seat settings with this car as well. Coming up now above that, having a look at the steering wheel here, you've got your audio controls on the left, as well as your dash, dash cluster controls there. You can scroll through your settings there. Then on the right here, you've got your adaptive cruise control, as well as your Subaru Intelligent Driving. So you've got your Sport and Intelligent, um, obviously for fuel economy and speed, um, depending on what you wish. 
Having a look below that, you've got your um, paddle shift gears. This car really takes off. Um, often people like to drive it in manual mode. And then again, have a look at that dash cluster there. You can see you can switch through your sport and your intelligent, um, which will also change your fuel economy there. Put your fuel economy display above that as well. Packed full of features for a 2016 car, as you can see. You've got a second display just up here. Um, got your AC as well as um, that second display screen that you can scroll through there. Have a look at through the different settings. And then you've also got your blind spot um, light camera just there. You can see that left side. Just an extra good feature of this car there. And then just below that you've got your actual touch screen display here. Got your maps there obviously. As well as your audio controls. The touch screen's all working well as you can see. Dr. Christine Grove is an education. Speakers are working well as well, which is great to see. Coming down now below that, you've got your AC controls. Dual climate control too, don't often see that in the 2016s. But again, this car is packed full of features for 2016. Um, I almost wouldn't believe it's 2016 to be honest, but yeah, you can have a separate temperature for your driver and passenger. Um, coming down now below that, you've got a USB outlet and an AUX outlet just there, or two USB outlets, sorry. Apologies. And then you got that 12 volt outlet on the right as well. Just there. Coming down now, you got your automatic transmission just there. Then you got your electronic handbrake as well as your heel assist. Um, heated seating's there for you too. Having a look through that center console now. Nice and tidy through here. And just there you've got 12 volt outlet and again two more USB outlets. Plenty of outlets here in this car to charge up your phone. Put this car in reverse for you now as well so you can see that reverse camera working there. The camera also automatically comes up on the left there. Now we'll have a look at that service history for you. So you've got a, nearly a full service history with Subaru. Um, great service history on this car, but having a look there, got your delivery service with Subaru. Then you got your one month service again with Subaru. There you go. Then you've had a service at 6,076 kilometers with Subaru, obviously done by date rather than time. Next one was done at 14,167 kilometers. Again, Subaru there as well. One after that, 21,049 kilometers. Again, with Subaru. Then 30,517 kilometers. Again, that one was Subaru as well. 40,447 kilometers. And then 48,016 kilometers. All these services all done with Subaru. Next one was done at 54,580 kilometers. Again, Subaru there as well. 60,990 kilometers. 67,887 kilometers. And then 71,444 kilometers. All those services have been with Subaru. Um, your most recent service was done at 74,967 kilometers. Um, as you can see, the previous owner has taken really good care of this car, both the interior condition um, as well as the paint. And the service history there is looking really great as well. Um, definitely a really um, well looked after car, as you can see. Just having a look here, you've got your sunroof there as well that opens up nicely for you. Um, you can choose to tilt it as well as open it up all the way, depending on your preference. Now I'll pop the hood for you and have a look underneath while the car's running too.
have a look under there. Struts hold that up nicely for you, make it nice and easy. Engine's looking really tidy under there as well, no red dirt or anything building up there. Car's been really well looked after. Hope you enjoyed your video tour of the Subaru LeBorg. Um, as you can see, this car is in really great condition. Please let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you want to see in more detail and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.